Did you know that Season 8 of Sea of Thieves introduces brand new skeleton curses, ship cosmetics, trinkets to unlock, and the ghost curse? Season 8 brings a brand new PvP on-demand mechanic to Sea of Thieves. I explain everything you need to know in this full guide video that you can find right here and in the description below. With this new mechanic, we see an expansion to both the Pirate Milestones with the Servant Tree and the Guardian Tree, and we see two new reputation trees called the Servant of Flame and the Guardians of Fortune. With this, we also see some amazing new cosmetics added to the game that are locked behind these new trees. Let's start with some of the new ship cosmetics. These cosmetics are heavily themed for both Reaper and the Pirate Lord, and we also see new trinkets, portraits, ship nameplates, and more. In addition to ship cosmetics, we get the biggest update for curses in the game that we have ever seen. Let's start with the Guardians of Fortune. If you are a pirate legend and you have level 100 allegiance in the Guardians of Fortune, you will get access to a new part of the pirate legend hideout in which there will be a ceremony and you will unlock the ghost curse that we have seen since the beginning of the game. In addition to this ghost curse, we also see some other variants that we can unlock as well. On the other side, the Reapers finally get a lair of their own that you can access at the Reapers hideout at level 75. This new lair also has a place where you can unlock one of the most requested curses in Sea of Thieves history, the Skeleton Curse. To get this though, you also have to be level 100 Allegiance with the Servants of Flame. On top of that, Season 8 also introduces with this new curse a way to customize your look as the skeleton from the color of your bones, the tops, the heads, the bottom parts to fully make your new skeleton your own. These new curses, cosmetics, unlocks, and layers look incredible and really reminds us all how amazing Sea of Thieves is for the beauty and rare is for their ability to create incredible worlds. What side will you choose first to level to 100? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It really helps me to defeat the YouTube overlords. See you out in the seas.